Valley Club. You've wanted shards in the unlock for Endgame Thanos. You can finally get them next week. They're coming in an event surrounding Blade and the Night Stalkers, a brand new candy store. We're talking about that because you could finally get Old Man Logan's Awakening Blades and some other great stuff in the store. And Alpha Flight is finally coming farmable. There's a lot to discuss for next week. And if you're ready for all of that and more, then you know what to do, Valley Club. Find that like button and let's go, Scratch it. And welcome back to the Valley Vine channel. I am Valley Vine. I hope you are having a great day. And I hope you're ready for everything coming up next week. Yeah, brand new candy store, Blade, Night Soccer, Shards for Endgame, Thanos, Farble, Owl Flight, and a lot more. But before we get to everything that is coming up next week, I do want to remind you guys, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button for more Marvel Strike Force content, some quality Marvel Strike Force content, on a week that I'm not out of town, which we are this week for a wedding, but minimum of five Marvel Strike Force videos per week on the channel, question and answer videos, vlog reviews like this, gameplay videos, everything up here experience in Marvel Strike Force Valley Club. Let's move to the advanced copy of the blog going uphill ice skating awareness day. So this is your battle plan commanders for September 28th through the 4th of October. There's going to be a new strike pass. Gore is going to be the featured character. Tigra is going to be a blitz on Monday. And then October 1st, Blade is going to become available through his offers. He's going to have his normal showcase event. There's going to be some orbs that you could maybe get one shard if you're lucky. Maybe zero if you're like the most players. Maybe, maybe that unlock if you get super, super lucky. But yeah, the showcase event is happening. And then the new uh, events that are happening. Vampiric Fury, Sugar Rest Rev Event, Dark Future. The monthly event is starting and it's not going to be a shortened one with three events. It's going to be actually have five events. Uh, so it's going to be a longer one celebrating pretty much all of October there. And then there's a quick one of us, weapons of the enemy. And of course, there is going to be some farmable characters next week. The Alpha Flight. Sasquatch is going to the Arena Store and Arena Orb. Guardian is going to the Spotlight Orb, which is good because we didn't have a featured character there last month. We have a bunch of characters. Well, now it's the Alpha Flight's turn. Guardian is going to the Spotlight Orb. And North Star going to the War Store. So if you don't have all your Alpha Flight shards at seven stars or Alpha Flight characters at seven stars already, this is your opportunity to do that. No date for this, so make sure you look out in your inbox for when this happens. And, you know, before we start a refreshing source, make sure that they are actually in the store. Uh, Blade, like we said, is coming. It looks like a normal release for this character. It's going to have an orb for 625 power cores in the store. You have a chance to earn up to 180, but normally you're just going to get six if you spend those power cores. There's going to be some uh, increased offer or increased chance to drop him in the red stars. So if you want to get some red stars, this is the time to open it for Blade. It was 15% for the longest time. It got moved up to 25%. Uh, about a month or two ago. So, yeah, if you want some red stars, this is when you again for Blade. And there's going to be a special web offer for him as well. They've done, been doing these cascading offers with certain characters. So, look at what is also going to happen for Blade. Now, if you're purchasing this character, if you're thinking about purchasing this character, normally these cascading offers on the web are going to be the better deal than just purchasing one offer in the, in the uh, normal in game stuff. But uh, 180 Blade Shards, 7 red stars for that first step. So, Pretty good deal if you're just getting that, uh, just looking for that unlocked. But yeah, you could get more shards from 210 on that second offer, 220 on that uh, third offer, 200 more on that fourth offer, and a diamond for Blade. So if you're a spender, this is probably the best way to do it for Blade. If not, and you're just wanting to grind, then uh, yeah, let's go grind for those characters. Now, as with a lot of these teams that they've been releasing, the Night Stalkers are also going to have a release event. The Path to the Night Stalkers. Uh, they're going to have these Night Stalker orbs which we've had in the past since the Annihilators, I believe, which doesn't have very good drop rates. Normally, if you're really lucky, you get one shard for the character in these orbs. Maybe if you're really lucky, you get that unlock, you get that jackpot, but most times you're going to get not uh, not the character shards. So there's going to be a Blade Night Stalker orb, an Oath Night Stalker orb, a Man Thing Night Stalker orb, but of course, there's going to be shards for updated characters. Agatha Harkness, Moon Knight, and those orbs. So that's what you probably can expect, but if you're lucky, you get some Night Stalkers in these orbs as well. Now, along with this showcase event, there's going to be a candy store going off with this. So, uh, that is a good thing. This is kind of celebrate Halloween, kind of celebrate the Night Stalkers release event. And where you can get the candy to spend in this candy store? Well, you're going to get in the Night Stalkers showcase chapter 2 missions. Now, chapter 1 is where everybody could get into. Chapter 2, you actually have to have the characters unlocked. So, hopefully we get the character unlocked for Blade really quickly. They did say... Uh, during the when they announced the new release schedule for the characters at least one character per team would have a 
easy release method. So hopefully that's Blade. Hopefully we get access to Chapter 2 right away can start earning this candy because that is going to be a major source of uh some of the points for next week's events uh for next week's event and uh we also have points that you or candy that you get from this vampire versus zombie event doesn't look like it's happening next week so we will need to earn candy from other places and that also looks like it's an upcoming alliance gifting event sometime during the showcase it's not described here, so I'm not thinking it's coming up next week, but sometimes you're turning this showcase. You can work with your alliance to stuff your pockets with more than enough candy to get an alliance-wide sugar spike. And what you can buy from the candy store, some pretty good stuff there. So hopefully we get access to this candy and they get it readily available. Maybe there's going to be a screw up on the web that you get a lot of free stuff. I'm crossing my fingers for that. But Blade's Awaken ability is going to be in that candy store. Old Man Logan's Awaken ability is finally going to be accessible in the candy store. Hopefully it goes like the Raid Elite store or you could buy it in the Raid store with Elite Raid credits after that. Because it's been a while since they've been out. So uh, also Crimson Gear. Oath, Diamond, or Fragments. So I'm assuming this is where you could get some diamonds for Oath. Uh, not just like the fragments for a diamond, but we'll see what that actually is. But uh, you should get a chance to get some diamonds for Orb. And the event itself is called Dead of Night. This is a course where you can earn candy, diamonds for Oath. Uh, the showcase energy is going to be back. Not using ciphers or golden ciphers like with Orcus, but for Night Stalkers, it's going to be back to showcase energy. And like they've done previously, there's going to be five missions, the showcase missions in Chapter 1, no requirements. You can just go in there, get some pretty measly rewards, but if you're a newer player or mid-game player, these rewards are pretty good. Chapter 2, you actually have to have the character unlocked, have that star requirement. So Chapter 1, Mission 1, three stars for each of the characters. You have mission 2, four stars for each of the characters. And Mission 3, five stars for each of the characters. And then the team missions uh it goes mission one you need all that three stars mission two four stars mission three five star of all the characters mission four six stars and mission five to complete it all you need seven star characters for all that and of course there's going to be some pretty good first time rewards for all this stuff here gold gear credits teal crimson gear t2 and t3 ions t3 iso 8 credits and even more character shards there is a free claim friday going on right now so make sure you claim this stuff it's only available for 24 hours sentinel course revolution or fragments central evolution or fragments make sure you claim all this stuff right now before it goes away in 24 hours and we have a new month-long milestone happening uh it is coming up next week and like I said, there's going to be five main milestone events, not the three that we've had uh, the previous two month-long milestone events. There's going to be five, so it should last the entire month. Uh, the meta items that you need to collect, obviously the silver bullets is the big uh, points that you need to get. But the big ticket items, steak, freighter beads, holy water, garlic, and a bazooka. And the first event, Vampire Frenzy, or Vampiric Frenzy, happening October 1st. That is the event that we have the details for. But Twilight Vigil is happening on October 7th. Swamp Showdown, October 14th. Zombie Invasion, October 21st. And then Overwhelming Hunger, October 28th, right before Halloween. Some quick Rumble Blitzes as well. Alliance Milestone. So we're having the last of the Dark Future uh, on the 1st. And it looks like we have a similar Ray-type Alliance event. It, instead of uh, being related to the Orcus team, though, it looks like it's going to be related to the Night Stalkers team. Running back to back to back four weeks in a row after the Dark Future coming up this upcoming uh, week and then some web milestones as well and take a look at some of the rewards that you get for next month's meta event well spider slayer shards some omega sentinel shards so i guess this is the phase to release of omega sentinel uh black knight shards leader shards all good characters here penny more omega sentinels and of course the big ticket items that you need to get uh, you're going to get 50,000 points for each of those big ticket items. There is a leaderboard as well, but no diamonds at stake. There are the damage champion or fragments if you're in top 2,000. Some more diamond or fragments in T2, not T3. So that blue uh, level 5 ions are there as well. Crimson gear raid orb. So uh, you can push in the leaderboard. It doesn't look as exciting to me as some previous uh, leaderboard for the meta items. And the first event for the month-long milestone starts next week. Vampiric Frenzy starts on the first. To score for this, you're going to need to spend Night Stalker Showcase Energy and Earn Candy. Now, the candy is earned on Chapter 2 of the Showcase Missions. But just spending it in Showcase Energy on Chapter 1, at least from what I'm seeing on these charts, should be able to score you points for that. 
uh, month, that meta, that weekly uh, meta item. There's also a way that you can score points by buying this ghoulish gold orb fragments. You're gonna get gold in that candy for the candy store that, and orange bits to purchase one of the golden costumes. I think uh, Thanos, not Thanos, Apocalypse has had one. Kang has had one. There's been a few other characters. Dormammu, I think, has had one. So maybe all those are returning, or maybe a new one is coming to the store. Uh, and the web milestone, you're going to need to spend candy to earn these milestone points. So I hope they're getting a lot of these candy for free. They will be actually score points on the web milestone. Take a look at the scoring for this web event. One candy in the web store is one point. And to get all these milestone, 400,000 points. So 400,000 candy in the candy store to get all the stuff. So I'm going to use the calculations of all these web milestone points in this but i am not sure if everybody's gonna have access to this much candy to spend in the candy store before the time but if you do manage to spend 400,000 candy you can get 33,500 milestone points for the main event i take a look at the charge for next week's main milestone event you do have these end game thanos charge here all the way down at milestone 15 is where you have to unlock if you have zero thanos charge right now but uh 121,000 points for that uh, and if you're just looking for the meta item, that is going to be a milestone 13 at 78,000 points. So every Night Soccer energy you spend, that is in the showcase event, is going to be worth 10 points. Every candy you earn is going to be worth one point. And hopefully there's enough candy that you could earn through free means or get a blade unlocked very easily from Chapter 2 that you can get to this 50,000 limit very easily. Normally for these limits, it's very easy to get to. However, from the way that it's worded, it may not. But uh, also, that golden orb, if you buy that from the store, that's a limit of 40,000 points. It looks like you get two of them. And then the milestone points that you're getting from the web, one point for that. And as far as the calculations, milestone 13 again, that is where you get the stake, the meta item, 78,000 points. Milestone 15, 121,000 points. That is where we're going to get 100 total just from the milestone points. 100 total end game Thanos shards. Now, for the points that you're getting from the web, 33,500. And the candy earned, uh, if you get to that limit, and hopefully we can get to that limit, spend 50,000 of those. Of course, you would need to spend that to get to those milestone points from the web. Uh, that gives you 83,500 points. That is more than enough for the stake, not enough for all of those endgame Thanos shards. So we do have a few unknowns right now. The Night Starker energy refresh rate, we don't know that. Now we do know what the Annihilator energy refresh rate is. The Orcus had none because it's based on the ciphers, but the energy rate for the Annihilator energy, one every five minutes, which is 288 free per day. Over the course of six days, that is 1,728 energy for free, which if, if it's be about 17,000 points, uh, because that is 10 points per energy spent. That is what you get for free if it uses the same energy refresh rate as the Annihilators. Not known though, it is still an unknown, and we are not sure how much candy we're gonna get per Night Sarker energy spent course you, you need to get to chapter two for that but that is the unknown as well so not sure how easy or difficult this event is going to be a lot of it is going to be based on how much candy that free to play players are going to get access to next week's alliance event looks very similar to what we've had the past few weeks running with some slate changes uh, we do need to get the silver bullets this time uh, that is the meta item that we're trying to collect that is a uh, milestone 10 and 170,000 points get you all of those there are some other things in these uh, web miles or these alliance milestones that you might want to get the Sunit Slayer Orb Fragment. Not sure what this is, but hopefully that's some good rewards for us. There are some ciphers for the Orcus event as well. Uh, but yeah, just play your raid battles, get you to the limit of 192,000 points. That should get you to the bare minimum of Milestone 10. And of course, the more you and your lions do, the more Milestones you should get. Some really good purple gear stuff for dark dimension 8 in here so hopefully union alliance are able to push on this milestones next week's quick rumble blitz will feature the dark hunters and there's been an update to time heist now instead of going to level 95 and having a spider side they have another offer same exact price takes it to level 98 and your characters that you get there are alpha flight mercs for money superior six spider society is still a very good team so now players have to uh have the choice 95 and a full spider side team or 98 get your characters up a little higher but you're getting alpha flight mercs for money and superior six let me know who you would want to get full spider side level 95 or these characters level 98 if you did not have them unlocked and there's looks like a special limited time orcas event where you can get even more character shards for sentinel nimrod 
with this milestone it looks like it's gonna be running from september 27th to the 4th of october and of course everything that we said in this video is something to change because everything in this advanced copy of the blog is something to change as well and even though this video may be something to change i hope you enjoyed this and got some value from this video to help you prepare for everything coming up next week if you did get some value from this video leave it a like it is free for you it tremendously helps at the valley blind youtube channel and if you want to check out one of the trap characters that you don't want to over invest in you do need to invest in these characters somewhat but you don't want to over invest in these characters waste your resources check out the video up there and i'll see you guys next time have a great rest of your week have a great weekend hulk fist bump valley flying out